Soundsphere recently introduced UI themes to the game. Along with this introduction came the Osu theme, developed by Thenin. Thetan. Thetan. Which creates a familiar experience for those users from that game. In this video, we're going to check out the installation steps, add my own custom skin, and discover what the rest of the theme has to offer. The first thing you will need to do is make sure you're on the latest version of Soundsphere. To do this, open your game, click the settings icon, and make sure this button is checked. After that, you can restart your game, and it should download the necessary files. Once the game is open, you should see the new theme setting here. You can click the GitHub link if you want to see further information on this theme, but let's go ahead and download it. Now that it's downloaded, we can use this drop down arrow to change themes. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, before we get too deep into this, I do want to see my own skin's UI elements, and it seems that all I have to do is change the drop down option here. No code or anything I have to tweak. It's pulling straight from the skin's folder in Soundsphere, which is nice. A lot of the things here behave just like they do in Osu. You can hold down the Alt key and scroll to adjust the volume. There are random tips here, and there's even the option panel. Some elements are currently unfinished or don't work yet. Lots of settings here, including some Soundsphere specific ones, like the difficulty calculator and audio and offset settings. Yes, this camera control setting works. The mods are arranged in a nice way to account for the amount of mods that Soundsphere has, as well as the sequential nature of mods. There's also the rate change slider at the bottom. I will say that I would prefer if auto map and alternate were at the top, as that's probably what you'll be using the most. Chart options here including filters, which can filter specific key counts, file formats, and even separate charts based on which mod combinations you've used. More grouping and sorting options here at the top. Due to Soundsphere's way of scoring, your results are sorted between perfect and non-perfect hits, as well as the misses, with additional information stored here. If you want the results screen to look more like Osu, you can switch to score v1 or score v2 in the options. There's also the option for Quaver and Eterna, but I'm not sure if that would fit with this game. So I'm going to just stick to Osu for now. You can also choose to show the chart's difficulty and have that be displayed as ENPS or Osu star rating. Personally, I'm going to be on score v2 OD10 with ENPS difficulty display. Playing feels the same with or without the UI theme. This area of the game falls more under the note skin itself, and players would be able to customize that how they want. If you use an Osu skin, then it should already feel familiar to Osu, minus the default skin elements. You can separate charts based on mods played, but the leaderboard doesn't always seem to update. Result screens don't show previous scores unlike Vanilla Soundsphere, and it would be nice to see how your score ranks relative to previous ones. There doesn't seem to be a way to readily view recent scores set on charts. There's an additional mod you can install to show your OC rank as you play charts. It's pretty accurate to the real website, so it's cool to use. As always, there may be a lot of updates between now and when you see this video, so keep that in mind. Anyway, that's the end of the video, so go try it out yourself, support the creator, join the Discord maybe? All that stuff.